I think we're all quite familiar with the absolute state of wild TikTok recipes. Some are 100% rage bait and others make you feel like you'd risk it all just for a sniff. But one thing I am completely sure about, no one's actually making them other, other than the person in the TikTok. Next, we're gonna add a little bit of milk. Well, no one but me. Today I'm making them. Four of them. Because I've been cooking a bit healthier recently and I'm worried that my fiance is getting bored of my cooking. I just want to wow her with, with what I've made, you know? So I've picked out four completely different types of recipes that I'm going to make. Four different angles, if you will. And I'll get her to try each one and then ask her how many wows out of 10 they are. I'm, I'm hoping for at least one. That's a 10 out of 10 wows. But let's start with aesthetic. I feel like you can't talk about TikTok recipes without talking about like overly aesthetic foods. They don't look real. They don't look like you should be able to eat them. And I just wonder how possible it is. Like can a, can a regular person actually cook one of these overly aesthetic TikTok recipes. So there's this song, uh, croissant, that went kind of viral. It's from some like New York bakery or something. And then people have been like recreating it on TikTok. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make this if I'm being real. I just feel like maybe for my first recipe, I've, I've gone too overly ambitious, but I've, but I've picked this one out. I am doubtful that this is gonna be at all possible. But let's have a try. No moi, it is joining. Welcome to my kitchen where safety is the number one priority. So I got started on cooking my croissants. I'm not really a baker. The most I bake is pizza dough. And here I am finding the most impressive looking baked good I can find on TikTok and saying, stuff it. Let's cook that. Then we mix. I started getting self-conscious about the fact that I'm making a cooking video and I'm not really filming the cooking part, so I uh, got some footage. Here's the footage. Very nice. Very, very cool. I'm not completely sure how well this is going because this dough is insanely dry. It's so dry. It's- look at it. It's- it's flaky. I don't think it's supposed to be this dry, so... I'm going off script. I'm taking matters into my own hands. Stuff the recipe. I'm adding a dash of milk. Now it's too wet. This should be good enough. I'm making a croissant. And then I'm gonna eat it. Now's the part where I need the dough, so I- No, 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 no. Down, down. No, no, down. down. Get down. Oi. All right, now's the part where I need the dough. So here I am, kneading the dough. I thought with croissants, you're supposed to like layer butter. Maybe I am still gonna do that. Maybe this is only the beginning of the butter. Now I've got to let the dough rest. So uh, while we wait, we might as well start on tasty. A, ta a tasty looking recipe. <laughs> I, I think this one's subtly different to the aesthetic one. Like sure it's aesthetic in its own way, but it's aesthetic because it just looks so, so darn tasty. Like it, it doesn't look healthy. It looks like cholesterol incarnate, but you just don't care. And, and I wanna, I wanna, I wanna cook something like that. I wanna cook something that I know, I know is is not good for me, but I just don't care. So I've found this garlic bread recipe. Look at that. It doesn't look like real. It doesn't look real. It looks like one of those fake slime. It's not food. It's actually slime. It's un it's ungodly. That shouldn't that shouldn't exist. But it does, and it will, and I'm gonna make it, and I'm gonna taste it. I mean, it, it's cheesy garlic bread. You've got to be wowed by cheesy garlic bread. I'm saying wow, I haven't even tasted it yet. So to make cheesy, spicy, cholesterol destroyer 9,000 garlic bread, you'd need one loaf of bread, three shallots, two garlics, 125 grams of butter, one tablespoon of miso, half a tablespoon of chili flakes, cheese, mozzarella, and uh, cheapy fake parmesan, parsley chopped, and this was like $3. $3 on parsley garnish seems crazy. Honestly, completely not necessary, but they did it in the TikTok and I feel like I'm probably gonna score at least one extra wow with this. So, you know, worth. Hot honey instead of regular honey because I like to live dangerously. I'm excited for this one. This is the moment where I find out I have to bake the shallots and the garlic for an hour. <laughs> the recipe says I've got to cut the tops off the garlics and the shallots, so. Let's take some tops off. In the TikTok, they say to drizzle olive oil over them. I'm out of regular olive oil. All I have is a, a spray, so I kind of just have to... <laughs> well, I mean... This might be absolutely nowhere near enough oil, so maybe they're gonna burn up to a crisp, light on fire and burn the whole house down, but you know, we'll, we'll find out. 
I realize now that the TikTok wrapped them all up together. I wrapped them up individually. I didn't, I didn't think that'll matter, but uh, now we wait an hour. Into the oven. An hour later and they're done. These are so very hot. Oh, oh dang. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna get a close up of this. Oh, I wish you could smell this. That's gonna be shalada flavor. <laughs> oh yeah. So I've got some good news and some bad news. The good news, they look and smell delicious. The bad news, they're so insanely hot and I'm burning my hands and I don't want to wait any longer because I've been waiting for what feels like my entire life at this point. I tried to use a spoon to smoosh it out, but I ended up just getting a bunch of burnt garlic skin everywhere. So I went back to burning my hands. Then, uh, then Ebby tries to help. Thank you, Ebby. Very helpful. Add some miso, add some chili flakes. I know this, I know this sounds dumb. So garlic powder is not in the recipe. Whenever I've made garlic bread before, it it kind of always benefits from garlic powder, even if I'm also using fresh garlic. It does already have an insane amount of fresh garlic, so we're definitely at risk of over garlicking this bad boy. But I mean, in that case, don't blame me. It's an America's Test Kitchen trick, so not my fault. Oh yeah. <laughs> Cheese. Then we chuck it under the grill, or as they say in the land of the free, in the broiler. <laughs> Chop the three dollar parsley. Then we have to wait. All right, I should probably show Jade the TikTok that this dish is based on. I want to wow you with food. She's she's nodding. <laughs> she is in the room. <laughs> she just didn't want to be on camera. Real hand. Okay. Yum. Here's one. Here's the other. Hot honey for my hot honey. Some parsley. So then I chopped up the bread. I uh I tried to get a cool shot of me cutting it. Mm, yeah. All right, it doesn't work with one hand. Oh my gosh, L look at that. Actually, actually look at that. Here it is. The moment of truth. Oh, I can't eat it. <laughs> it's literally so hot. Really is hot. it really hot? You can wait a second. I can get one I for myself. Of the hot honey. And it's too hot. A little wait later. The moment of truth. Oh man, it's very tasty. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> It's so tasty. I could eat it every day. Well, you shouldn't. It's not. There's a ludicrous amount of butter and... Yeah. How many wows out of 10? I'd give it an eight out of 10. Eight wows? So, but like 10 wows is like, you can't get more wow. Yeah, I'd give it an eight out of 10. You're giving it an eight, eight wows? Yeah. Eight wows! We got eight wows out of 10 wows! The only reason it's not getting 10 wows is because it's too much garlic. Yeah. Very garlicky. And we like garlic. Yeah. It's like, do you want bread with your garlic? There's two whole bulbs. What? Wow. Yeah, so who'd have thought? Turns out two whole clove bulby things of garlic and garlic powder is a little too much garlic. Anyway, let's get back to the croissant. So the recipe said to leave it for 30 minutes. This is at least a couple of hours later. Will that mean the yeast had too long to sit around? Maybe they've raised too much? Honestly, I have no idea. I had to roll out the dough into a square. I don't know if I don't know if you've tried to roll something out into a square before. It is not an easy thing to do. Rolling things into a square? Who came up with that idea? That's not how rolling works. It just it doesn't want to squareify. Anyway, this thing has to go in the fridge for two hours. So two hours later. Hello, it is me. The idiot. So I, I came back two hours later and I realized that the recipe says to roll out the butter into a square and then put that in the fridge for an hour. So I could have done that an hour ago, but the second best time to do it is now, I suppose. So I did that. Look, we're getting, we're getting somewhere. You seeing this? Seeing this? Looks like a big slice of cheese. Butter slice. Now that goes in the fridge. And now we wait another hour. But nobody got time for that, so in the meantime, uh, bad. A bad recipe. Insane. Overly TikTok. Rage bait? I don't know. The Those just absolutely wild TikTok recipes. They're just doing something they shouldn't be doing. It doesn't look right. They're putting something in something. They're eating it out of something. They're using five blocks of Velveeta cheese. Surely it's not edible, but it gets clicks. It gets views. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Maybe the secret all along is a Doritos packet and cracking an egg into a Doritos packet. It could be. Uh, we just don't know unless we try. So I found this one. This, yeah. We're gonna start with two eggs in our Doritos bag. Mm. Next we're gonna add a little bit of milk. 
I just can't even begin to understand this one. How is it not pouring out of the bag? I'm not... This can't be food. This can't be good food. I have some boneless, skinless chicken. I'm using a little bit of pepper. Little, te little tendies. A little bit of garlic powder. We're doing Dorito tendies. Now we're going to give these a flip, just like that. Place it in our bag. <laughs> it freaks me out that she never shows the inside of the bag. I don't, I don't buy it. I don't buy this process at all. Nothing was coming out of that bag when she was shaking it. She never shows you. Then she slowly pulls it out. Look at that. That didn't happen from shaking it in a bag. I just don't even believe it. I don't even believe that this one works the way it shows it does. I think it's fake news. Like we're not even talking about whether the food is good. I just don't even believe this is real. Yeah, greatest thing you've had in your life, I'm sure. There you go, so good, that's it. I'm gonna make that, I'm gonna make it. And we're gonna see if it wows. I'm a little nervous for this one. Yeah, I, I don't have much faith in this recipe. Honestly, I'm not sure why we're here, but it, it could be amazing, so. Oh, this is so dumb. This is so dumb. And what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna show you what's in the bag. Okay, here we go. Oh my gosh. Best part is, if there's eggshell in there, We'll never know. Hard to tell because egg is similar color, but there is egg in this bag. This part is, it's cold. <laughs> Ugh, it looks like half soggy cornflakes. Yummy. Chicken. I'm not gonna waste this whole chicken breast. I don't think it's necessary. I am going to put two in the bag. The rest, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm cooking them up a, a different way for dinner later. Let me pull this chicken out of my Doritos bag. Oops, spoiler. There's some Doritos on it. Peppa, garlic. There's some onion, pat, 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 pat. Flip, then they go in the bag. It looks exactly the same as it did before. Ugh, that is sad. The other side's a little bit better. Honestly, I don't think the flour is helping. I think these Doritos are silly. I think it's a silly idea. She's, she doesn't even want them. She'll eat anything. The Doritos just fall off. After following the uh, recipe, we have this. It smells like slightly burnt and cornflakes. Was it bad? No. Was it good? No. I was worried it was going to be good. It's not good. These are not crispy. They're kind of just soggy. You kind of lose any flavor you would get from the Doritos. How many wows will Jade give it? None. She's not eating this. I, I refuse to make Jade eat this. <laughs> Let's just move on. Let's just move on. At this point, it has gotten dark. My next step is to place this butter sheet on top of the dough and kind of wrap it up like a baby. Uh, but then yeah. it broke. Disaster strikes. This butter is not cooperating. And at this point, I'm just fingers crossed that croissants aren't too fussy about this sort of thing. I've got to kind of pinch this down and fold the sides in. And then you won't believe what happens next. In the fridge for two hours. I'm literally going to be here for the rest of time. Two hours later, I take it out of the fridge to sort of, eh, eh, and, eh, eh, eh. That's it. Then it goes back into the fridge for another two hours. I, I'm, I'm falling asleep. So, I'll see you tomorrow. Then I had to roll it out and roll it up, and hopefully, for the last time in the fridge again. But uh, this time for a measly 20 minutes. Honestly, this is the moment of truth. Right now, I will find out whether I've absolutely ruined this thing. I'm gonna make some slices and what I need to see is clear, distinct layers or, or like, a, like, a, like a swirly kind of thing. If I don't see that, this whole thing is ruined as, as well as my day. And, and they turned out. Yay! 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 Let's go! At this point, I am very excited to put them in the oven. I just double-checked the recipe and... 33 hours! No! 
No! <laughs> yeah, they've got to rest at room temp for <clears throat> some more hours. Okay, no, it's fine. Oh my gosh, let's jump over to the last recipe. Simple. A simple recipe. Like, there's no way. It's so simple. You know those YouTube videos that you find that their title is like, if all you have is an egg and 200 milliliters of milk, microwave the egg. And the thumbnail is like something immaculate, some amazing dessert. And you see them on TikTok as well. Uh, I found this one I'm affectionately calling the jiggle block. Uh, and it's just like a chocolate b jiggly block. And it's, it, looks so, it looks so simple. How do they do it? It wowed me with just how simple it is. It's tr it's chocolate. I think it's like th three ingredients or something. Or four or I don't know. You chop up some chocolate. Sugar. Make it sweeter. But that could be to taste. You could you could maybe omit the sugar if you're counting your ingredients. I think it's like gelatin or something. And you boil it. Make soup. And then you put it back in the carton. Like so simple. Like you don't even need a thing to put it in. You just put it back in the milk carton it came in. And then look, look at it. Look at it. It's a little jiggle block. Look at that. Uh, wow. <laughs> it looks good, but you just think, surely not. How can it be? It's too simple. Let's find out. I bought a carton. Most of the milk here doesn't come in cartons. I had to buy fancy organic milk. The recipe called for agar agar. I only had gelatin. I tried to find a conversion, but it was kind of confusing. Some of them had the conversions like backwards. I didn't know whether I needed more or less. So I don't know, we're, we're winging it. If it stuffs up, I'm blaming the gelatin. All right, now this way. It's supposed to be super convenient because you can make it into the carton, but the recipe uses less milk than the carton comes with. So now we need to find something else to put the milk into, which like, defeats the purpose? At this point, I'm pouring boiling chocolate milk into a carton and I, I started freaking out that it was gonna leak or something, so. That is steaming hot in the fridge and uh, we wait. So I showed Jade the TikTok. What? She's getting oh my God. real excited. Oh, that's cool, guys. Whoa. Like, kind of too excited for <laughs> for what it is. She's given pre-wows before she's even tasted it. Ta-da! <laughs> we gotta keep it fancy, so I prepped a little cocoa dusting. Then it's just extract the jiggle block. Slice, dust, serve. Yeah, that's nice. Is it good? Yeah. Like, it's kind of fancy. Like, I imagine they sell that in like a fancy chocolate pack or something. I feel like it could be an ingredient in a much fancier dish with other components. No. I'm gonna go as far to say it's more life changing than the dark bread. By far. <laughs> How many wows out of 10? Nine out of 10. Wow. She gave this thing a nine out of 10 wows. Honestly, I was not expecting that. Cole's home brand what? chuckle buttons. That is so cheap. Why did you give that? It got a nine out of 10 wows. Well, the best is yet to come. I guess that means there's only one thing that can possibly top it. Hopefully. Now that they've rested, they should have doubled in size and... They haven't. I think because they spent overnight in the fridge when it was only supposed to be like a couple of hours. That could have something to do with it. Honestly, I, I don't really know. This could maybe mean that they don't puff up properly in the oven, but I, I suppose we won't know until we cook them. I need ring molds. I don't have ring molds. I can't really be bothered making a bunch of them. So I'm, I'm really putting all my eggs in like a, a couple of baskets. I'm just going to make a couple of them. <laughs> hoping that at least one or two of these things will work out. This is the part of the recipe where I'm supposed to make a chocolate custard filling. And to be honest, I, I, I was going to, but then I was buying all the ingredients and I, I saw this chocolate custard just there in the fridge on the shelf. Uh, so I bought this. <laughs> so I skipped all that work, but for some reason I'm, I'm still making the chocolate ganache. I suppose it's kind of arbitrary at this point, which parts I'm making from scratch and which parts I'm not. But at this point, they should be ready. But uh, they're not. They're 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 a bit blonde. Okay, at this point, they should definitely be ready. And they're not. They're a bit blonde. I'm starting to think maybe I've done something wrong. I don't know if they're ready, but uh, whatever. I'm taking them out. I've got to pipe them now, which was kind of more difficult than I thought it'd be, and they kind of started like oozing out the front. <laughs> but I did my little ganache drizzle and. Then we put them in the fridge for two hours. <laughs> no, nah, I'm kidding. They're, they're ready now. Honestly, they're not as pretty as the ones on TikTok, but I'm, I'm low-key proud of them. I honestly was not expecting them to turn out. But all of this is for nothing if Jade doesn't like them, so I called her over. Wow. 
Like, these better be amazing. You took so <laughs> long to make them. Now, they don't look exactly like they do in the TikTok. I'm sure they look really good. Okay, ready? <gasps> wow. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Oh, good shot. Nice. Yeah, that looks good. Mm. Wow. <laughs> The flavor is really nice. The flavor? The chocolate is really yummy. I didn't make the filling myself. Ah! Oh. <laughs> um, the filling. I made the top though. The, the drizzle? Yeah, the drizzle's really nice. How many wows? Eight out of ten. Eight? Yeah. You're telling me the best one was the, the block of jiggly chocolate? Yeah, without a doubt. That's <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> that one's changed my life. But I love everything you cook. So, I didn't get a 10 out of 10, but I got a lot of wows, and to be honest, Jade literally says wow to every dinner I make for her, and in the end it was the simplest recipe that scored the best anyway. I think there's probably a cute takeaway there, but I think the main thing I'm realizing is that she's so appreciative of anything I make for her no matter what, whether it's the simplest recipe I can find or the longest recipe of my entire life, it just would not end. Honestly, I'm glad because it means I don't have to make them again, but I still would, if she really wanted me to.